Live from the Sweet and Snack Show. Jeremy Weiss here. We're live from the Sweet and Snack Show. We're here with Good Day Chocolate and Dr. Andy. Dr. Andy's the founder, but Dr. Andy, tell a little bit about your background. Well, I am actually still a full-time physician. I do head and neck surgery in Boulder, Colorado. And on the side, we started a chocolate company with an old friend of mine who's my partner. And uh, we started this company. It's a supplement-based chocolate company back in 2012, 2013. And we couldn't be happier than to be at Sweets and Snacks right now. So what made you decide to start a chocolate-infused I mean, you guys have supplements. I mean, you have Calm, you have Turmeric, you have, I was looking at Sleep, you have uh, Multi-Energy, Probiotic. So talk about why. Yeah. So we, so I, in my medical practice, we actually still make lollipops to numb kids' throats after tonsillectomy. So the idea of functional ingredients and different delivery mechanisms and form factors was re- resonating in my mind for a long time and sort of percolating. And then... Over time, it sort of morphed into a couple different iterations and, and ended up in a candy-coated chocolate format because we like the convenience and portability of candy-coated chocolates. And, uh, and then we put the functional ingredients in there to make it uh, really an awesome product. So it's probably, I don't know if it was a tough decision to go chocolate versus gummy versus hard candy. Talk about that decision. Yeah, we started in lollipops because that was where we initially were anyways. Uh, And then we morphed into caramel for a bit. Uh, And then when the caramel started melting in the middle of the summer, I sort of said, well, if I'm going to have a melting product, it might as well be chocolate because everyone loves chocolate. And uh, from chocolate, then it became a candy-coated chocolate once we decided we really wanted to try and make it melt-proof. Yeah. Um, and that's where we ended up, and we've been running with it ever since. It's really a great form factor for so us. So what were the first couple products that you produced? We launched in uh, 2014 officially with uh, Energy and Calm uh, in uh, Colorado Whole Foods, and then we brought in Sleep just a few months after that. And at that point, we were making all the product in Colorado, just me and my partner, uh, which was crazy, working full-time as a physician, then working nights making chocolate. How are you doing that? Uh, I have a great wife, and, and, uh, and we were lucky, and we found a great uh, place to do the stuff, and a you know, commercial kitchen to do it in, and uh, we just went for it. And then we ended up working with a co-packer now in Chicago, so we're here you know, a fair amount uh, with our, uh, our, our group here that makes it for us. So how did you meet your partner? Uh, he's an old friend of mine from uh, growing up. He's actually my brother's buddy from summer camp. So we go way back, about, thir- about 30 years. He's a serial entrepreneur. Uh, Simeon uh, went to Babson uh, for his MBA, and he's done a couple tech startups. And then this is his really his first uh, consumer product, uh, big, t- yeah. big, you know, big startup like this. So energy and calm. Yep. Then what was next? Sleep was the third one. Yeah. And we launched Sleep in the uh, spring of 2015. Uh, and, and Sleep is our best seller and has been since then pretty much. Um, they all sell great, but Sleep really, really uh, sells great. And you have a kids line. And we have a kids line that we just launched in the last uh, month uh, in Target stores around the country and online. Uh, so we have four kids line products now, a Sleep, a Calm for kids, a probiotic for kids, and a multivitamin for kids. In the adult line, we've added the multi. We've added a, a turmeric, a vitamin D product, and a probiotic. And we have an adult bulk line actually launching uh, later this summer. Wow! Yeah, you're a busy man. Yeah, we are. Um, so you mentioned the caramel melting. Any other challenge? Interesting challenges or stories from the journey? Oh, so many that it would be hard to put into a small snippet for YouTube, but. If you want to sit down and grab coffee, I'd be happy to tell you all about them. <laughs> what about a uh, especially proud milestone? It sounds like you guys have yeah. gotten done really well yeah. with distribution. We have. We've done pretty well. Uh, I, you know, there's been so many milestones along the way that it's hard to pick out one that's really the, the most important one. We got a national Whole Foods, a global Whole Foods deal right out of the gate, and and executed beautifully on that. And then we came off Whole Foods exclusivity, and we've just seen great growth ever since. Uh, really, the thing I'm most proud of is probably the team we've assembled. We have just got a phenomenal team of people working with this product and working with us, and that makes me really happy that we're building something meaningful, you know, for them and for their you know families. And and we just want to put out great products and uh, and really uh, you know 
show the world that this this is this is what you can do with chocolate and supplements. Yeah, and so what's next? Any how, how do you innovate? How do you decide on we, what you're you going to do next? We look, we look at the marketplace and we see where people are kind of going with things, but we don't want to jump into fads either. So we do the turmeric, but turmeric we really have is an anti-inflammatory product and, and we put a real curcuminoid turmeric in there so it really works some of the fads that we're looking at we're not really jumping into we're not going to jump in on the collagen thing because i just don't really believe in it um sort of my medical side well, yeah i want to hear about some of the research of why you decide to do something yeah, or not and that's what we do we look at things and we say we really want to put functional products on the market that actually do work so we're not going to put out anything that's real fluff we really want to do something that's going to you know give the the uh the consumer what they're looking for so to that end we do have a, a pipeline of R&D maybe another four or five SKUs some of them have been prototyped and are ready to go some of them are kind of waiting in the wings and we're kind of watching and seeing what our our consumers are looking for as well as what the market's uh, asking for so totally. yeah so Dr. Andy, where should they check uh, your check you out online I know you guys can be found in Whole Foods yeah. Target where online can they check online, you out we you know we sell off our website beautifully uh, and and, and we do a nice job of uh, packaging the products in, in nice little boxes for people offline on our website too, which is a, a nice thing. Uh, Amazon certainly sells a lot of our product. Uh, Target.com sells a lot of our product. All the other major online grocers uh, thrive and um, can't uh, blanking on the one out of Pennsylvania, but they all sell it. Yeah. So can uh, they go to gooddaychocolate.com? Gooddaychocolate.com is our website, and certainly a lot of information there. A quirky video of me maybe up there at some point. What is it? <laughs> no, it's you doing thing. surgery? No, it's some old marketing <laughs> thing we did a long <laughs> okay. time ago. But we uh, no, we have a lot of good information up there. We're very transparent about our ingredients, so you can go on there and find out tons of information about the products. Totally. Yeah. All right. Everyone check out gooddaychocolate.com, live from the Sweet and Snack Show. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a beach If you find the sand right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand